What's going on guys? It's Eric from Intelligent Quads coming back at you with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a little video on my dev environment for Ubuntu 20.04. So some of y'all probably already noticed that there's a bit of, there's a couple changes with 20.04 and there's a couple different things that we need to do to install all of the dev environment properly. So today is going to be an update to the first couple videos that I did in the software development series. And hopefully this will fix all the issues you guys are having in 20.04. So Stick around and enjoy the video. So the first thing I'm gonna start installing is RDPilot. So to do that, I'm gonna open up a terminal and start running these commands. In 2004, they made it a lot easier to install RDPilot on Ubuntu. They basically made a script that installs all the dependencies for our environment. So to do that, all you need to do is cd to RDPilot and then run this script. Perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is make sure that our environment has all the environment variables that the script set by sourcing our dot profile. And then the next thing we're going to do is check out the latest copter build. And right now that's copter 4.0.4. .4. And now we're going to make sure that our submodules are up to date. So we're going to run git submodule update at dash dash init dash dash recursive. Perfect. Now we should be able to run the software in the loop by itself. Looks like it's working. So the next thing I'm going to do is install Gazebo. So to do that, I'm going to come back to the IQ Tutorials main page and then navigate to the uh, Installing Gazebo and RDPilot plugin tutorial. So I'll click on that and then I'm going to start running all of these commands. So I'm going to go back to the RDPilot terminal, kill the program and just start running all these. Then for 2004, I'm going to install Gazebo 11 and libgazebo11 dev. To test that Gazebo installed correctly, just run Gazebo. We got 11.2, looks good. Now I'm gonna install the RDPilot Gazebo plugin. I'm gonna CD to RDPilot Gazebo. And then I'm going to build it by making the build directory and then doing seat make and make. Now I'm going to run sudo make install. Now I'm going to set up my bash RC. And then add the RDPilot gazebo models to the path. To make sure the environment variables take in this terminal, I'm going to source my bash RC. Note that the default RDUCopter gazebo world is not working by default, but my IQ sim package is. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up now with Ross. So now I'm going to go to the Ross New Etic website and then I'm going to start running the commands as shown. Then I'm going to install Ross New Etic desktop full. Next, I'm going to um, source the setup.bash. And I'm also going to add this to my bash RC. Note that if uh, you're using ROS2 as well, you may not want to put this in your bash RC and may want to just run it manually such that you can configure which uh, ROS install you're using. 
Okie dokie, now I'm going to return back to the tutorial. So now I'm going to install Catkin, as well as other dependencies. Then I'm going to make the catkin workspace by running make dir catkin source. So you did a catkin and do a catkin init. Looks like it worked. So now I'm going to install Mavros and then do a wstool init and then run all of the following commands. And looks like we can now do a catkin build. Once Catkin is done building, then we're just going to go ahead and set up uh, a couple things in our bashrc. And then go ahead and source the bashrc to get the update. And then also make sure to install the uh, geographic lib dataset by using this script. And I already have it installed, so looks like that worked. Now we can go ahead and set up the iqsim ROS package. And then now we can go ahead and do just a, another catkin build and hopefully all of our IQ sim packages will show up after we source the bash RC again. And then now we can source the bash RC. And now we should be able to run the worlds just as we were before in 1804. And to run RD pilot gazebo, uh, just come back to the introduction for ROS tools and drone development. And uh, you can copy this uh, startup script to your home directory. And that should be what you use to launch the RD pilot software in the loop. And it looks like it's connected. Now we just wait for IMU to start using GPS. Now that the EKF says that both of our IMUs are now using GPS, we can go ahead and take off just as we did before. And now just to show you that Mavros works as before, we can also, um, take a look at the ROS topics that are created. So in order to launch Mavros, do a ROS launch, IQ sim, and then apm.launch. And then we can make another terminal and do a ROS topic uh, list. And you should see a bunch of Mavros topics. This basically confirms that Mavros is working and we should be able to run all of the programs that we've made previously in 1804 we are now good in 2004. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this really helps out all the problems that you guys have been having in 2004. So until the next one, peace out.